Hi everybody, I'm here to say that um, we've already taken these notes, but I just want you to review this. An angle is formed by two rays with a common endpoint, and we talked about how to name these angles. So I can name this angle ABC, angle CBA, or with the vertex letter, angle B, as long as there's only one vertex. So, um, also, if there, if there is a number inside the angle, you could also name it by that number. So these are the only four ways to name angles, and this is one vertex only. I'm going to remind you of that. One vertex only, and this is if you have more than one angle. Okay, congruent angles are angles with the same measure. We talked about this, and we called this angle 1, and we called this angle 2. I told you the measure of angle 1 is equal to 30. The measure of angle 2 is also equal to 30, and because they have the same measure, these angles are congruent. So angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So we will say congruent angles. That's how we write that. And I know I gave you these notes before. Um, hopefully you were able to see this, that if I were going to name this angle in three different ways, I would call this angle B, angle ABC, and angle CBA. And if I was going to name this shaded angle, I could name it angle 1. I could name it angle MKL or angle LKM for the shaded angle. Uh, congruent angles, don't forget, equal arc marks means equal angles. If you see equal marks, you know they have to be equal angles. So knowing that, let me extend this page out, knowing that these angles here have to be equal because those are the same arc marks. So I know that angle KJL has to be congruent to angle MJG because they have one arc mark. Now I'm going to go to the ones that have two arc marks. I can see them here and here. So I know that angle PMJ has to be congruent to angle QHG because they have two arc marks. And lastly, I go to the ones that have three arc marks. One, two, three. One, two, three. Same amount. So I know that angle PI. G has to be congruent to angle KIQ. Okay, that was just a real quick review of what we talked about last Friday. All right, um, these are the classifications of your angles according to the measures. This is found in your textbook. section 1.6 but you should have already had these written down in your vocabulary packets and I want to say that when you classify an angle an acute angle I call the skinny angles because they're smaller than 90 degrees a right angle don't forget you have a box in the corner that indicates it's a 90 degree angle and obtuse angle I call the fat angles and then, of course, you have your straight angle, which is exactly 180 degrees. It makes a straight line. And so when we classify these types of angles, when I look at angle 1 right here, I can see it's a skinny angle. So angle RSV is acute. Okay, angle 2. Angle 2 is formed right here. It's opposite this box, so I can add another box, making this immediately a 90 degree angle. This is a right angle. Number six, 
angle RSX. Okay, R S X is a fat angle. This is obtuse. Number seven, V S W. V, I'm going to use a different color. V S W. This is also a fat angle. This is also obtuse. All right, um, num angle number eight, angle VSX, angle V, I'm going to use the black marker, VSX, this forms a straight line, so this is a straight angle, and the last one, angle WST, let me use blue this time, WST, once again, I ended up with this box, so this is a right angle. This is how you classify your angles in which you're going to do this in an activity on a worksheet. Okay, last thing to finish these notes is this very, very, very important postulate called the angle addition postulate. And it's very similar to the segment addition postulate. And what it's telling you is when you have these angles together, you have this, this relationship, angle AOB, which I'm going to do in red added to angle BOC, which I'm going to do in blue, is equal to the whole entire angle, which is right here. So angle AOB plus angle BOC is equal to the entire angle AOC. So angle AOB, this was my red angle, plus angle BOC, this is my blue angle, is equal to the whole entire angle AOC which is my green angle. And this is a very important postulate to use. If you have a straight line, which is the second case, it still works. Angle AOB, my red angle, plus angle BOC, my blue angle, together still make up angle AOC, my green angle. However, because angle AOC is a straight line, straight line measures 180 degrees, so we can still use the angle addition postulate for a straight line. Okay, let me give you a couple examples, and you're going to be done with these notes. All right, using the angle addition postulate, it says suppose angle 1 is 42 degrees. So I'm going to put 42 degrees inside my picture. Angle ABC is 88 degrees. A, B, C. It's a whole entire angle. This is 88 degrees. They want to find the measure of angle 2. Angle 2 is this angle right in here. Well, this is what I know. I'm going to use the angle addition postulate, and I know that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is going to equal the measure of angle A, B, C. So I'm going to substitute what I know. I know Angle 1 is equal to 42 degrees, plus the measure of angle 2, I don't know what that is, is equal to the measure of ABC, which is 88 degrees, and I'm just going to use algebra to finish solving this equation. The measure of angle 2 is equal to, 8 take away 2 is 6, 8 take away 4 is 4, 46 degrees, and I have my answer. Okay. One last example, one using algebra. It says angle JKL is a right angle. Now don't forget this right angle means it's equal to 90 degrees. So JKL is a 90 degree angle. I'm looking at the picture and I know that angle JKM plus angle MKL is equal to angle JKL. I'm going to substitute what I know. I know that angle JKM is equal to 12x plus 3, plus MKL is equal to 6x minus 3. It's equal to JKL, which they already told you is a 90 degree angle. And I can solve this equation using algebra. Let me move my board. Okay, combining my like terms, 18x, these cancel out, 
is equal to 90 dividing by 18 x equals 5. Now don't forget you're not done with your algebra. You always have to plug it in, plug it in. They want to know these two measures. So the measure of angle JKM is equal to 12 times 5 plus 3. This is 60 plus 3 is 63 degrees. And the measure of angle MKL is equal to 6 times 5 minus 3. 6 times 5 minus 3 is 30. Take away 3 is 27. Quick check. If I add these together, do they equal 90? The answer is yes, and I'm done with this problem. Okay, you guys, uh, you're going to end up watching the video for Part B later on uh, tonight for homework. You guys have a great day. Have fun with your worksheet. Bye.